I do expect temperatures in the 70s this evening uh, with a decrease in our clouds as the evening and night goes along. Uh, the only weather problem overnight may see some patchy fog around to get out the door tomorrow morning. Otherwise, a pretty nice uh, Thursday shaping up for us. sunshine early after some fog, but then the clouds will start sifting in on through the afternoon and then late tomorrow afternoon. Now that chance of a shower or a thunderstorm moves in mainly into the evening. Now I know we've got some football games getting underway uh, tomorrow evening. It does look like here at 730 that rain will be knocking on the door. But as we go on through the evening, here comes that line of storms, 8, 9, 10 o'clock tomorrow evening. And again, going to watch the intensity of these storms, uh, see how well they can hold together as that sun sets and the temperature starts to cool. But definitely a line of showers and storms expected uh, through tomorrow evening into uh, tomorrow night. The bulk of this is gone by Friday morning. Uh, maybe a few lingering clouds left over or a stray sprinkle, a possibility, especially early on Friday. And then we'll get into more sunshine and we are into a nice weekend setting up once we get this storm system behind us. And if you like the hot temperatures, well, you've got that coming too, especially the second half of the weekend. A 60 tonight, clearing skies, a patchy fog possible. Uh, during most of tomorrow, quiet weather expected near 80 now by the afternoon. But as we get into this time tomorrow evening and the deeper into the evening we go, that risk of uh, thunderstorms moving in in a line, going to watch that into your Thursday night. Uh, most of that's gone by Friday. A few more clouds are holding on and cooler Friday. Highs in the low 70s. Then look what happens. Mostly sunny both Saturday and Sunday. Upper 70s Saturday. Lower humidity. By Sunday, the humidity starts to move back in and the temperatures go up. Uh, we'll be in the upper 80s through early next week. But right now, it looks like we're finally in for a string of some dry days heading into the early to middle part of next week.